Welcome back, everybody. This is Bob Calvert again, uh, talking with Heroes.com, broadcasting from the uh, R4 Alliance 2016 National Conference here in uh, the Villages, Florida. And I've got a gentleman sitting next to me here who we've talked with before. He's been behind the camera, and uh, we've teamed up before, and he is the founder of 10can.us. And uh, But he's wearing a different hat right now. It's an American Legion hat. He's also a commander of an American Legion post. Uh, so welcome back, Matthew. And just tell us a little bit about what's going on with the American Legion. Thank you, Bob. The American Legion is going through some innovative changes. What you think you know about the American Legion may be different than what is about to happen. The American Legion recognizes that it is important to not only serve the veterans, but to serve the families. There are so many different programs that are available to families of veterans. Now, there are qualification, There are qualifications that you have to meet in order to join the American Legion. In a nutshell, you just have to be a veteran of, of a conflict. Uh, so all post 9-11 veterans qualify to become an American Legion. The problem that the American Legion is facing today is the recruitment and retention of post 9-11 veterans, the younger veterans, to take hold of this torch and to carry it into the next century. The Legion has been very effective in the past in influencing uh, change, legislation, positive influence on veteran benefits, and the voice is growing, uh, if you would, a little weaker because the numbers are um, uh, reducing and, and it's being reduced because of the uh, I'm not going to try to avoid it folks are dying and we need the older generations dying off oh, okay. that's what I'm trying to say right. so we, we need the younger veterans to come in and start taking leadership positions now I, I realize this this need and as the founder of Tin Can Incorporated it's I feel responsibility to service organizations to help them be revived and part of my initiative with the R4 Alliance is to be able to give back to other service organizations. Uh, and, and that led me to start taking a look at the American Legion. I've never been a fan of uh, the older service organizations because in my mind, when I was growing up, it was a bunch of old guys sitting around drinking, smoking, and telling war, war stories. It used, like it used to be like that. And some posts are, are, are still like that. And the fact of the matter is that if you want to survive, you have to change. You have to evolve to the needs of the younger veterans, and that is having a purpose-driven mission, being involved in your communities, and implementing your programs, being willing to change and be flexible to your, your family-oriented veterans. And I understand that a lot of your post-9-11 veterans are, are working, and that is all right. Like our friend David Gray, who was just interviewed, he is. Um, he joined the American Legion. He is. Uh, he is able to attend when he's able to attend. But the point of the matter is that he works a full-time job. But his membership at a post speaks volume. It gives just being a member gives us a stronger voice. Does that make sense? Yep. Now, in the future, we would hope that he would come on board as a as a um, as a contender for the next commander of the post or or be able to recruit other people to come in and to, to come in. You know, we have a, a member, uh, a guy, a young veteran I'm working with, Dan Bainbridge, and he's an Army veteran, and he works full-time. He's engaged in a lot of different activities, very helpful in the Tin Can Incorporated uh, mission. I'm trying to recruit him as, as a member of the post. Another individual right down the road, very involved in agriculture. One of the things that's sweeping across America, in addition to the outdoor recreational therapy that uh, is being offered through R4 Alliance, is a program called Horticulture Therapy. Farmer Veteran Coalition and Veterans Farm created this phenomenon that is sweeping across America and getting younger veterans involved in feeding America through farming. We as Tin Can teamed up with Farmer Veteran Coalition and Veterans Farm to be able to train veterans how to farm and in turn empower those veterans to combat poverty through the American Legion. Who's more equipped to, to combat poverty than, than combat veterans? military personnel right someone who is gung-ho who who knows how to work together in a team 
and can stay mission focused. Take the politics out of it. Exactly. Just just give me some soil, some seeds, and some tools, and I'll I'll make it happen. So what's your post? What post number? Where is it that you're commander of? Thank you, Bob. I am the uh, commander of Post 149 in Newberry, Florida. Okay. It is a uh, it is an absolute honor to be a, a, a member of there and uh, and to lead them to a program called Operation Farm to Health. It is our horticultural program that uh, empowers veterans to combat poverty. We started working with Farm Share to uh, to bring in groceries. We believe in the adage, the, the the Chinese proverb that you teach a man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. Well, you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, right? Well, we understand that while you're teaching that man to fish, to feed him for the lifetime, you, you have to feed him in the current state. So we understand the handout is necessary, but our long-term goal is to hand up. It just takes people to buy into it. Yep. So while we have you back on here, I don't think we did this in the last interview, you have some events coming up in 2017 with TenCan. Do you want to mention it to them? Absolutely. Before I jump into the survival race for heroes that we do the first weekend of every March, it's a uh, it's a two day uh, extreme adventure race from anyone in the novice to expert class, and it includes people who want to just go out there and learn in the recreational class. The other events that we have, we want to focus on benefiting the American Legion in that we provide therapeutic retreats for veterans for members of the of american legions and we we want that we want to recruit and retain uh and, and keep the american legion these other service organizations moving forward because they are very effective at influence and change as i mentioned before but there needs to be benefits for the younger generation and the perks of joining the american legion once before is not the same that the new veterans are looking for. We're, we're looking for adventure, excitement, and things. That's what's in it for me. Uh, you know, when when I think about what other veterans want out of joining a service organization, it's, it's, it's not reduced insurance costs. It's not reduced hotel stays. It's let me go, let me go hunting for a grizzly bear or let me go kayak a, a whitewater uh, uh, river or, or something extreme, something crazy, or or help me and my family get on our feet and grow a farm. Those are some of the perks, some of the benefits that Tin Can brings to the table to the American Legion, and thus the American Legion brings to the table for our future veterans. That's great. Well, I appreciate you sharing it. Um, what's the American Legion website? Is it al.org or americanlegion.org? It is the Legion .org. The from Legion. from from what I can remember, okay. I uh, I don't have the information on me. But okay. if you speak well, Google, just yeah. type in American yeah, Legion yeah, Google, yeah. and the the neat thing is about the the Legion is that each post operates independently. Mm -hmm. Now they're subjected to the region, and the region is subjected to the state, and the state is subjected to the nation but everyone operates kind of on their own accord as long as we uh, follow these like kind of Got 10 it. commandments yeah and so we we operate within those ten, those those uh, parameters and uh, we're hoping to be able to uh, push people to our facebook page because <clears throat> we, we don't we don't have uh, a lot of folks in our in our posts who uh, are uh, website savvy uh, like me for example i'm not very website savvy uh, what you see on tincan.us is a lot of help from Vistaprint, and and so if we can get the somebody on board who knows how to do all that kind of stuff, then you'll see some pretty high tech right. stuff happening. But until then, just go to Newberry or American Legion post, type in Operation Farm to Health. Both of those kind of talk to each other, and it demonstrates what we're doing in the community. You know, October first, we fed over 2,000 individuals. In our uh, in in this endeavor, we had 532 families show up, uh, the households show up to get food, and it and it, uh, it it just making an impact in the community like that is a huge step forward for the American Legion. It's amazing how many uh, projects you're involved with, and you have a family too. I don't know how you do it all. <laughs> well, to be honest with you, Bob, my family is my backbone. They are yeah. the foundation I stand on. You know, the Bible speaks about if you build a house on sand, it's going to fall apart. You build it on a solid rock, and it's going to stay for a long time. My family is my rock. 
Well, I appreciate all your help. I'm looking forward to working with you over the years ahead. Thank you, Bob. Same here. And much. to everybody who is a veteran who is not plugged in, get plugged in. Do something for your community, for your country. Don't quit serving just because you took off your boots. For everybody who is deployed, thank you very much. We are looking forward to serving you when you return. We look forward to serving you abroad. Anything we can do to be of assistance, you let Bob Calvert and the Bob Calvert Show know, Ten Can Incorporated, R4 Alliance, or the American Legion. We're here for you. The Bob Calvert Show. Okay, folks, we'll be back with more from the R4 Alliance 2016 National Conference. Thank you. <laughs>